Hey, it's Scott Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. Arden and Merkin. Arden and Merkin. Not sure how, to, how to say it. Western Highlands. Woo! We're going to test it! New, style. new distillery, Peated Style. Alright, so it's going to be the Heather Peat is what I'm thinking. So, look at that. Ooh. I don't do too many tie-ins to the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, Ooh. but we just released cask, or third and fourth cask from Arden and Merkin. This is, I picked this one up in, uh, at Apple Jacks in Colorado when it was passing back through from the Rocky Mountains. Okay. Hadn't seen it on the shelf. I believe this was their first release. Um, yeah, it's just Arden and Merkin... Martin Murray sounds like um, I'm that's sure it. There's a lot of, sure, there's a lot of great history there, but it sounds like you've been drinking a little too much when you say it. <laughs> I got an Arden. What'd you call me? I got, no, you call oh, me? yeah. What? What do you mean? I'm, not, I'm American. No, you're hard American. <laughs> so, <laughs> picture this though. Okay. Nice Arden American Distillery <laughs> Core Range bottling. I'm, a, I'm American too. Forty-six point eight percent ABV. Say again. Forty six point eight percent ABV for a quarter range official. I think first bottling. For, it's not forty percent ABV. It's I'm not forty three. Yeah. It's not forty five. Yeah, it's the point six. Forty six point eight. eight. No, it's just nice. That's eight. a nice higher that ABV. Is. They didn't bring this down as low as they could have. Sure. Should have, or not should have. Right. Shouldn't have. Most would. Right. Okay. It's Very nice. The first time, but they could grab people. They could grab some fans early. Non-chill filtered, no color added, well, right like on the label. Recycled cardboard? What the heck's going might on be, there? Might be. 700 milliliter. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah. Pissing me off. <laughs> uh, you need to talk. I don't know. Uh, I have cracked this and tried it. Mm. Oh, I think just last you night. You all tried it? Maybe. You tried it? Maybe the night before. Really? Recently. Ooh. Oh, Western wow. Highlands. Uh, this is good. a peated Western Highlands single malt Scotch whiskey. Ooh, that's a good. So you've, I've got the malted barley on the nose with wisps of smoke Ooh. and a touch of salt. Yeah, I remember that when I sat down with it. Yeah. The first time I was like, it's salty, it's peaty, it's yeah. malty, citrusy, Bingo. sweet, so, honeyed. Now, for the peat heads, like myself out there, this is not going to be that Isla type peat. This oh, no. feels like it's going to be but, a little lighter, but I haven't tasted it yet, peat. So when I say a little bit of peaty, it's not like I'm getting that deep earth or band-aid. It's more like hmm. uh, it's just, a touch of uh, smoke coming off of a barbecue. Um, <sighs> see, it, it seems more clean, more sterile to me, almost medicinal type peat. Okay. Or industrial, mm. um, cleaner, or maybe even oilish. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but salty, citrusy, malty, nice. Wow, that's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. mm. So again, um, like a refreshing malted barley. Mm. Refreshing for me usually means a little bit lighter on your palate, mm. crisp. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. I got to see where some of this is, though. Warming. Um, nice. It's really a nice influence of peat, I would say. Hmm. It's not a peat bomb. It's not a sockier palate with peat. No. My it's, palate is searching for the peat. It's, it's higher than Highland Park, you know, at 5 ppms. It's a little bit higher. I'd say 10 to 15. I mean, yeah, it's, it's still elusive. <laughs> Toasted honeys here, malty, salty, That's gross. citrusy. Had to do it. Yeah. Another one. I don't do it twice. Sounds like we got a cow in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, a wisp of peat on the finish. In the linger, it's just a real light, earthy wisp that lingers and hangs. Along with a caramel cream soda vanilla note. Oh, 
and this is the problem. I, when, I, when I hear Pete, you know what I always want. I want to get hit with the with the Pete Claude right in the face. Right. And this is not going to be that. But that means it's going to be very, very approachable for those of you that say Pete is too much. This is not an Isle of yeah. Pete. This is a finessed Pete. Yeah. Um, toasted honey is really not even too much on the palate. Citrusy, maybe a little bit of some pear. Not lemon or orange. It's not quite that tart or that sweet. A little bit more toned down. Maybe some, like I say, some pear. This is a good first bottle. For uh, poached me. poached pears, maybe honeyed, malty. Poached pears. That's a good alliteration. I like it. Yeah. I just want to say it. I didn't get of, it, but I'll, I'm going to say a little bit of poached pears. A little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on there. Yeah. Um, boy, it's interesting. So this is the subtle peat that it lends itself again in the finish. It's these wisps. It's like the, ooh, you know what it, it kind of reminds me of is when you're, at least in Wichita, you'll drive by some of these like street chicken barbecue vendors where that mm -hmm. smoke's wafting and you up pick up. On 21st? Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. You pick up a little whiff of it and then you're like, where's that coming from? Yeah. Where's that coming from? And it's, it's like, I wasn't hungry, but I am yeah, now. Yeah, I, want, I even drove up once on duty. And I was like, hey, I'll, I'll, I think I want some of that chicken. He's like, you're going to have to get in line. <laughs> This, uh, this carton was manufactured using 100% post-consumer waste I called it. paper. I called it. Yeah. It feels, it looks That's, like, the, it looks like the packaging material. Yeah. So, here's. I don't like that. I like this Just great bottle. Up. I like the 46.8%, non-chill filtered, no color added. We've got on here, this was this carton was manufactured using 100% post-consumer waste paper, but there's no... History? No, no, I mean, there's no. Which, which Arden American is this? Is this the ten year? Is this the Ooh. the savory edition? Got it. What's this, the name? This is the pulp. This? It's just Arden American. It's the pulp. Arden Arden American pulp. They should have called it the pulp edition. Yeah, that's which, what it's like. That's not bad. So you, I mean, we're going to tell people I've had Arden American. Right. Which one? Which one? Pulp. Uh, it's just labeled Arden American. The recycled pulp edition. Should Should it have? Uh, I think we name. call it the pulp. I know, but it'll I mean, get shit. famous. No, did Arden and Merkin? Yeah, one. Did they drop the ball, or did they plan? Or just name it Arden and Merkin? Or all their maybe all their bottles are just Arden and Merkin. You have to guess how old they are. What's that? Zero what two two zero one. In. I don't know. That's on the side. A D C B zero two A D C B two two zero one. That's craziness. We're gonna call this the pulp. Can you edition. read it? Oh I, my I think God. it's general marketing. What the. Well, I know. <laughs> I would need making full use of the rich and peaty water. You ain't got no peaty water. Hmm. What are you talking about? They could. I'm not peaty. It's, I mean, there's peat bogs, so water running All through right. the peat There's bogs. more stuff on the, pen on the peninsula. It's rugged. It's rugged and timeless. This is transparent so, marketing. So is this peated or is it just distilled with peated water? Peated water, apparently. I don't like that. Oh, interesting. What does that mean? There's like peat bogs and they're pulling the water out of the bog? What are they doing? I feel old when I got to tip the glasses. I don't know which edition of Arden and Merkin this is. You made me want to go in their caves. I don't know, but I've been told. 88. Can't finish that. 88. All right, I'll go 87. You got to be one. <laughs> you got to be lower, don't you? Well, we're not I don't know, okay. I like it. Uh, great. I, I think this is entry bottle. I'm not sure. Um... I like the 46.8%. I like yes. the non-chill filtered, no color added, great palette. I like the great faint zipper. wisps of peat, but they're faint wisps, but they're present. So approachable for all. But I'd like a little more information on like what you're talking about. But you know what? If everybody henceforth calls this the pulp edition, I would like it. <laughs> you can go. To Patreon, look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can support us for as little as a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. You can make that one time or every video. Totally up oh. to you. What? No, oh, sorry. If you do two dollars, we will shout your name with gusto. If you do three, you can Which? even send a pickle as long as you covered a picture. A picture, not the pickle. As long as send you cover the pickle. Send a picture. Yeah, and then not as long of as the you pickle. Cover the pickle. We could post it. Don't send. And your we pickle. do have somebody. 
Huh? That is a two dollar support. That's right. So he gets. So we're going to yell it out. Mamuka, Mamuka! nineteen seventy seven. <laughs> that means he is Generation X, baby. No, is it X? What are we? Are we? Thanks, X? Mamuka. Mamuka's been around for what a are while. We Generation X. We're Generation X. Oh, I have no idea. I don't, I don't pay attention him. to all that. Yeah. He has been around. The these, Muka. These youngins nowadays, though. Yeah, they got Generation Z. The millennials are running around. Uh, price point. I think this was seventy dollars. I didn't bring my receipt. I should have. Yeah. This was from Colorado, uh, same that. as the Stranahan's. Not yeah, that. Seven, you sixty it to there. seventy dollars. Yeah. Great entry price, it's and again, the Pulp Edition. Forty-six point eight percent ABV. Mm. So, Arden Merkin. I said I don't know which one. It's Arden, you, Arden Merkin. You can get the shirt. You can get the topper. You cannot get these hats, baby. You can't. Scotch it, you Scotch guy. That's at scotchtestdummies.com. Yes. Solange. Dummies. Dummies. Whoop.